A mother and her son died in early morning crash. Gunman shoot one during robbery leaving a loaded magazine behind. Man held with homemade gun in St. Mary. Cook shop operator shot in St. Catherine. Cop signed break shoe in New Year Eve's triple murder in Bull Bay. My viewers and subscribers, please like and share and also click the notification bell and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Give the channel a chance to grow. A mother and her son are now dead. After the vehicle they were traveling, overturned on the Mandela Highway. In St. Catherine early yesterday morning. The crash occurred about 2.18 a.m. yesterday morning. In the vicinity of ferry on the entrance to the highway. The victims are identified as Tamika Parrot, 40 of Kingston 11 address. And her son, Delano Wright, died from injuries sustained. After the BMW Black Double they were traveling, crash and overturn, the ferry police are investigating. The St. Mary police have taken one man into custody following the seizure of an illegal homemade firearm and 145 rounds of ammunition. Reports are that about 10.10 10 p.m. on Saturday, lawmen were in Trimus district in Highgate. When they saw a man with an object in his hand, on seeing the police, the man dropped the object and ran. The object was retrieved and the man held. He was subsequently taken into custody. However, his identity is being withheld pending further investigation. A man has been charged with robbery abrogation and illegal possession of firearm. After he alleged held up a security guard at a supermarket in Montego Bay, St. James. On Saturday, October 1st, 2022. Charge is 51 years old Richard Dixon, otherwise called Tony, a laborer of Sign District Orange in St. James. Reports that about 9 p.m. Dixon went to the supermarket where he alleged held up a security guard. At gunpoint, a tassel ensued during which shot were fired and injured Dixon. He reportedly then disarmed the security guard of his license firearm and ran from the supermarket. Dixon was subsequently arrested and charged after an identification parade on Friday. A man has been arrested and charged with wounded with intent after he alleged stabbed his girlfriend all over her body in Duncan's Hill, Portland on Wednesday, December 28, 2022. Charge is 28 years old Cadden Simit. A farmer of Red Assel Road, Port Antonio in Portland. Reports are that about 8.30 p.m. Simit. Girlfriend went to a relative house to pick up her child. When the farmer showed up and accusing her of cheating, an argument developed between them. And Simit alleged pulled a ratchet knife and started stab his girlfriend all over her body. The victim were taken to hospital where she was admitted and treated. Simit were arrested and charged on Saturday, January 7th. Head of the Manchester Police Superintendent Shane McCullough has confirmed an early report that said a woman was shot and injured in Davidtown, Manchester on Saturday night. McCullough report that the woman was shot at while driving a motor car in Davidtown. Her car was fired on. She wasn't shot, he said. 13 people including 6 women and 2 minors were taken into custody after a team of officers assigned to Portland Police Division seized approximately 600 pounds of gan a compressed ganja during an operation on Long Road. On Saturday, reports are that about 9 a.m. lawmen were in the area when they signaled the driver of a Suzuki motor truck to stop. He complied and stopped the vehicle. During the search, 600 pounds of compressed ganja were found in their position. They were taken into custody. However, their identity is withheld pending for further investigation. They are listed drugs as estimate street value of 3.3 million Jamaican dollars. A cook shop operator was shot and injured yesterday morning as he started his meal preparation at his shop location in Geisel. 
in St. Catherine. The injured man were rushed to hospital where he was admitted for treatment. The St. Catherine police are now searching for the person believed to involve in the attack. According to the police, about 4 a.m., the man went to his place of business to start meal preparation. He went to the rear of the premises. When explosions were heard, he was found suffering from gunshot wound to his upper body. Meanwhile, residents are expressed concern about the attack on the man in the quiet northeast St. Catherine community. Police are anticipating a breakthrough in the New Year East triple murder in Bull Bay, St. Andrew, as they report the following strong investigation leads. In the case, the victim of the gun murder were 68 years old Mason Isaiah Ashton and 39 years old construction worker Alric Ashton, both of Taylor land in Nine Mile Bull Bay, and a man known only by his alias, Narco Police Commission Major General Anthony Anderson speaking during a strategic visit and a tour of the Kingston East Police Division on Friday indicated that investigations are making progress. In the case, the investigations are progressing a pace, so hopefully we will end up with some arrests pretty soon. In that regard, he said, a gunman shot one of two men and flee with more than $30,000, but left behind a loaded magazine. During a robbery Sunday morning, the eye drama took place in Red Grunks District, St. Catherine, Old Arbor. The 20 years old man injured has been admitted to hospital while his friend escaped injured after he promptly fled the scene. Police report are that around 3.35 a.m. boatman drove up to a premises after attending a wake in Barton District in Old Arbor where they were punched up by a man armed with a handgun. The driver of the vehicle flee. The scene, the gunman leave the note in this injured man behind. The police said the gunman stole $35,000 from the vehicle, took the remaining victim further up the red, red ground, main road and shot him in his head and flee. The police rest the man and found the man suffering from gunshot wound. To his head, he was rushed by the All Arbor Operation Support Unit to the hospital where he was admitted in critical condition. The police, while processing the criminal scene, processing the crime scene, discover that the gunman left behind a Glock magazine contained 16 live millimeter rounds. More details to come as the story unfolds. My viewers and subscribers, thank you for watching. Please like and share and also click the notification bell and also subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. See you another time.